This is Rainwater from ACG, and welcome to another edition of the Hot Seat. Joining me today is Paul Osiknik, who's Vice President for Juniper's Product Marketing Group. Paul, thanks for joining us. Right, great to be in the Hot Seat. And I really hope I didn't butcher your last name. No, it was perfect. Good, good. I did it some just. I practice it all the time on the <laughs> plane there. Now, about a month ago, Juniper had a major announcement regarding something that you guys called the Super Corp. Right. Yeah, now, um, could you mind for our audience going a little bit overview on what those are? Sure. Well, as you probably remember, in 2012, we launched this Converge Supercore, and it was a revolution in terms of core routing, mm -hmm. giving you a very lean, efficient, optimized label switch router. Right. Um, last month, we announced some enhancements that's really given you an even more powerful core routing right. platform, and it involves some silicon and some systems. So let me talk a little bit about the silicon first. Okay. Uh, on the silicon side, we announced our new Express Plus chipset. And a lot of new interesting innovations there, but one of the most interesting was the first silicon to use 3D memory architecture. Mm -hmm. And what that's enabled us to do is, is drive some great performance improvements. Um, 20 times density improvement, mm -hmm. 4 times performance, 3 times power efficiency, um, all within a package to give you 500 gig capability in a single chip. So uh, pretty impressive silicon yeah. enhancements. Now we've taken that and we've integrated into the uh, core routing line, the PTX routing line. Mm -hmm. And so with the PTX 5000, we've brought it in and now enabled three terabits per slot with, mm -hmm. with eight slots, a total system capacity of 24 terabits per second. Mm -hmm. And then for those who are looking for a leaner platform or, or a more uh, um, a space optimized platform, the PTX 3000 at a terabit per second each per slot, so eight terabits uh, total. So pretty impressive um, enhancements to the platform, giving you both full IP as well as NPLS capability. Now, a lot of a lot of brawn there, mm -hmm. uh, but also added some brains with uh, mm -hmm. or brains enhancements with the uh, Northstar controller, where we had already announced the Northstar SDN controller. What we've done is we've added multi-layer capability, okay. so converged optimization for both the optical and the IP layer. Oh, wow, that was a mouthful, right? There's yeah. a lot to that announcement <laughs> now. In, it, it's interesting because there were some major performance things associated with that. I mean, if we look at the service provider environment today, they're very CapEx conscious today, right? right? Uh, I mean, why should they consider something like this and why should they even consider it now? Yeah, good question. Uh, as, as we all know, CapEx is always uh, an important topic for service providers. And we're here in the Juniper EBC, and I spend a lot of time speaking with customers here, and it's really mind-boggling the growth rates that they're having to deal with um, in terms of the capacity. 150%, mm -hmm. 200% increase oftentimes year over year. So the, the growth and the demand in the network is, is tremendous. And mm -hmm. So the challenge for the service provider is how do we meet that demand but do it by scaling cost-effectively? And so I think what we've enabled with the PTX product line as well as the Northstar controller is the ability to meet that demand and that scale, but do it by maximizing what you get out of every single CapEx dollar. So really trying to drive that cost efficiency to be able to satisfy the customer demand, but still maintain a viable economic model. Right, interesting. Now, if we look at parts of um, that analysis, because it's good to uh, address the part of CapEx, but now if we look at competition, Right? I mean, it looks like Juniper kind of raises the bar regarding performance with some of these enhancements mm -hmm. uh, to the PTX. How does this stack up against the competition? But a question for myself always is, is how do you get to the math? Right. No, good question. And, and I think it's pretty straightforward. What we've enabled, for the example, with the PTX 5000 is with, with the Express Plus chipset, what we've enabled is three terabits per slot. Um, and that's half, du or, excuse me, that's full duplex Two capacity. Duplex. Um, and there are eight slots, so 24 terabits per second, mm -hmm. full duplex capability. Now, I know some of our competitors like to use half duplex, so mm -hmm. to translate into half duplex, that's six terabits per second per mm -hmm. slot, so 48 terabit per second uh, half duplex right. capability. Okay. And so when you compare that to the, to the competitors, what we're looking at delivering with the PTX 5000 in a single chassis our competitors require, our nearest competitor requires five chassis. Right. So pretty, wow. pretty powerful, we think. And then with the PTX 3000, again, uh, one terabit per slot, mm -hmm. eight slots, eight terabit per second, uh, full duplex, and double the number, so 16 terabit per second, half duplex. Right. Um, so again, pretty powerful um, capabilities. And when we compare that to, say, the NCS 6008, the nearest competitor, we're delivering the same capacity, but 91% uh, less space. Wow. 
uh, one seventh the weight and fifty percent less power. So pretty compelling, we yeah, feel. Yeah, compelling, interesting. Now, if I recall, part of the announcement, uh, you talked about the MX as well, mm -hmm. right? And and the combination of the MX and the PTX kind of. Uh, changing the routing landscape, right? Right. You know, and I'm a former router guy. Actually, I should say I'm a current router guy. I've been in for, <laughs> since routers were invented. That means a lot, right? Right. Um, what, what did you mean by that? If you could elaborate on that, but more importantly, when does a customer select right. the MX over the PTX or vice versa? Right. So, so with Juniper, it's what we focused on is how do we deliver the right solution for the right part of your network? The right, okay. the right part of your area of your network. And mm -hmm. the way we look at it is one from a, a services routing standpoint and a transport routing mm -hmm. standpoint. Uh, the MX excels at in the services routing area mm -hmm. where you're looking for program programmability, service creation. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you're looking to um, create a firewall service, maybe a virtual CPE type okay. of service. Okay. So how do we give you the programmability, the flexibility to be able to create services leveraging the MX platform? And and we we've consciously taken a different silicon approach where mm -hmm. we have the Trio chipset right. for the MX that gives you that programmability. And, and that's a great solution uh, a solution set for that part of the network, mm -hmm. that area of the network. But then there's also the transport side of the network where you're looking for driving greater performance capabilities. Mm -hmm. You're looking for deployability. Okay. And so the PTX product line excels there where you have that, uh, that scalability required in that area, still driving cost efficiency. Mm -hmm. You also have the capability to uh, have a different footprint size. For example, the PTX 3000, if you're looking to deploy it in a, in a colo or a, um, a uh, central office right. type of okay. environment. So give you the flexibility both in deployability as well as optimization. And then finally, uh, across both of them, giving you the SDN and NFB capabilities. Okay. So in the services side, uh, products like Control Cloud, Control mm -hmm. Networking, they give you that NFB SDM capability for mm -hmm. that flexibility. But then in the transport side, giving you something like uh, North Star to give you that optimization, that efficiency. Right. So uh, if I interpret that correctly, it's kind of for the MX, you have the service routing attributes. And for the PTS, kind of like the transport routing Correct. attributes. Would that be fair? Exactly. Now, you mentioned the North Star part of this announcement. And uh, when we look at the North Star SDN controller, we've heard parts uh, announcements before. What's new in this announcement? So for the, the North Star controller, what we were able to deliver is, we would announced North Star previously, what we've been able to deliver is a multi-layer optimization. Mm -hmm. The ability to optimize not just at the IP layer, but at a converged IP optical layer. Okay. So that you can provide that same level of capabilities and the same effective routing mm -hmm. of the paths through the network, but making sure you're not going across a single point of failure. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, I think it's important to understand with some of these announcements, what are some of the real use cases, right. you know, customer use cases that our audience should consider out there? Yeah, good question. And I, I think there's a couple of very interesting ones. Uh, first is the IP MPLS uh, backbone. backbone. Um, right. That's a critical use case where we think the PTX 5000 is going to excel, where you're most likely, most likely going to have the full uh, routing table, but you need high density 100 mm -hmm. gig capabilities. Okay. And so giving you that, that performance, but in a very cost conscious right. environment. Um, second one is the IP period points, okay. where you're in a typically in a space constrained environment. You probably need the full IP, uh, the full internet routing table. Right. Um, and delivering that capability in a very efficient, optimized uh, footprint. And that could be the 5,000, it could be the 3,000. And then finally, uh, data center interconnect. That's a, a, a large growing market for us, but giving you the, the ability to have that data center routing table, right. but also that higher density and 10 giggy or 40 giggy uh, ports to be able to connect to the spine layer of the, of the um, data center backbone. So a couple of interesting areas. Yeah, data center area connect is an area that we're just getting so many calls on. So it's really hot topic there. Well, Paul, you're officially off the hot seat. Hopefully, it wasn't too bad. Thanks, Ray. Good. I enjoyed it. With Paul, this is Ray Moda. Thanks for joining this edition of the Hot Seat.